welcome you all in this session i will be explaining about the simulation of igbd based inverter with closed loop voltage control inverter is a powertronic device which converts power from dc to ac there are two types uncontrolled uncontrolled in controlled we have open loop and closed loop control system. So in this session, I will be simulating the three-phase inverter with closed-loop voltage control system. Three-phase full-bridge inverter is shown in this picture. Here it consists of three legs, and in each leg there are there are two IGBTs connected in series. The input terminals of the inverter are connected to a DC voltage source. and the output terminal of the inverter is connected to a three phase r load so let us see how to simulate this using matlab simulink so go to matlab simulink so in the matlab simulink window click simulink library so this is the simulink library so where we can Uh, where we can get the required blocks so click this icon to create a new model this is our model page where we are going to develop where we are going to model the inverter so first we need dc voltage source so for that in the library go to simscape sim power systems specialized technology electrical sources so there we can find dc voltage source drag and drop it in our model page so double click it and set the voltage around 350 650 voltage dc so then we need three phase inverter so for that sim power systems select power electronics in that we can find universal bridge drag and drop it control r to rotate so the input or input terminals are dc so connect it to the dc voltage source so then before connecting the load we have to implement filter to remove harmonics so for that i am i am going to use low pass lc lc filter in this model so for that go to simpar systems specialized technology elements so there there we can find a three phase series rlc so drag and drop it double click it branch type select l and i am going to give 350 micro henry so i am renaming it as l so connect with the in at the inverter output terminal then we need c capacitor so elements so series rlc branch single phase drag and drop it double click it branch type select c so here i am going to give 330 micro farad so i am renaming it as c1 so per phase one capacitor so three capacitors i am going to connect all those in delta c1 c2 c3 so i'm connecting all the capacitors in delta form yes then connect the output of inductor l with the with the delta capacitor 
now the filter is implemented now let us implement r load so for that same in elements so three phase rlc series rlc branch drag and drop it double click it branch type select r resistance of 1.65 ohms per phase i'm giving so i'm renaming it as r load so before connecting the load we have to implement vi measurement block so for that simscape simpa systems measurements so three phase r vi measurement block is available drag and drop it so connect at the uh, filter output vi measurement block is connected then connect r load at the output of the measurement block connected so then the other terminal of r load i'm going it to ground so for that in elements so we can find ground drag and drop it and connect it at the or at the another terminal of r load yes now the system is ready dc voltage source connected to an inverter and the inverter then low pass filter then measurement block then load so now we need to implement control system so for that so go to library signal routing so go to tag drag and drop it double click v a b c that is measured voltage uh, right, right click format hide name then i a b c so i am renaming it as i a b c so connect these go to blocks to the output terminal of measurement block yes now it is connected go to library drag and drop it from block so dabc i am going to implement voltage control so measured voltage actual voltage i am taking then use a gain block to generate per unit value of the measured voltage so at the output i need i am going to generate 350 volt peak per phase so 1 divided by 340 i am renaming it as pu then i am going to convert this abc to dqo format so for that simscape simpar systems specialized technology control and measurement transformation so abc to dqo drag and drop that block so connect this so dqo is available now so i need only dq parameters i don't want o so i am going to use selector for that signal routing selector drag and drop it d and q that is 1 and 2 are required not 3 so i have selected 1 and 2 now these are measured that is actual values this has to be subtracted with the reference value so then go to commonly used blocks there we can find sum so the drag and drop it and change the first terminal changing it to minus so i am giving the actual value at that terminal so now we have to define reference values so for that 
take a constant block. So this is VD. VD, I am keeping it 1 and VQ, I am keeping it 0. Yes. Then now use a max block. So our reference is ready, DQ. So reference minus actual error signal is generated. Now this error has to be given to a PID controller. So for that in sim simulink discrete, so there we can find a discrete PID controller, drag and drop it, connect the error signal to the PID controller. So double click PID, controller type select PI. Let it be discrete time and sample time give it 50 microseconds. So proportional gain I am giving 0.4 and integral gain I am giving 50. So then PID advanced limit output select and upper limit I am giving 1 and the lower limit I am giving minus 1. So apply click OK. So PID controller PI controller is implemented. Now this DQO I am going to change uh, to ABC. So first we have only DQ now. So O for that use a constant block. Control left click drag to make another copy. So this is a constant block BO. I am giving it 0. So it then use a max block, max block. So BD, BQ and BO I have connected. So DQO is available. Now DQO to ABC converter is required. So for that Simscape, Simpower Systems, Specialized Technology, Control and Measurement, Transformation. So there DQO to ABC. So that block, select that block and drop drop it in the model page, connect this, now ABC is available. Now we need omega t for these two blocks. So for that we need, we need to implement PLL. So PLL three phase, select that, drop it in the model page. So input, we have measured BABC. So give that, it will generate omega t. So omega t minimum. I am keeping 50 and the frequency I am giving 50 minimum frequency and the initial frequency I am keeping 50 so then connect omega t to these two blocks yes so the voltage regulator block is implemented now we have to give this measure uh, this calculated BABC to a pulse generator. So for that in SIMPAR system specialized technology pulse. So PWM generator two level. Select that block, draw, drag and drop it in the model page. Give this value. So double click frequency, switching frequency I am giving 4 kilohertz. That's all. So apply, click OK. Now the pulses are generated. So give it to the, let us give it to the universal bridge. So I'm renaming it the universal bridge as inverter. So in the universal bridge, in the inverter, power electronic device, we have to select IGBT slash diodes. So click OK. Yes. Now the system is ready. Before simulating, before executing, we need to do two things. One, we need to place power GUI. So for that, Simscape, Simpower Systems, Specialized Technology, there we can find power GUI. Drag and drop it in the model page. Double click it. So 
configure parameters, simulation type, select discrete, 50 microseconds, it is the default value, let it be the same, click apply, click ok, ok, so one is done, now we have to see the plots, for that we need scope, so commonly used blocks, so click scope, select scope and drag and drop it in the model page, double click it, Set, go to settings, so history, limit data points to last, remove that and uh, go to general, uh, I need to plot, I am going to plot voltage and current, so two axes are required, I am giving it two, click ok, close this, so B, A, B, C, I am giving it at the first terminal of the scope, then we need I, A, B, C, Yes, now the model is ready, I am going to simulate the model, this model for 0.5 seconds, so here we have to define that time, end time, simulation end time is defined at 0.5 seconds, now let us run the model for that, run button, press this, so the model is getting compiled and it is getting executed. The model is executed and the results are generated. Let us see the plots by double clicking scope. So auto scale. Yes. So I have given BABC I, while converting into it into per unit, I have given 1 by 340, that is per phase peak voltage 340 I have given, so in each phase 340 peak value is generated with 50 hertz and the current is around 200 amps peak in each phase. So a three phase full bridge inverter, IGBT based inverter with a closed loop voltage control system has been simulated in MATLAB Simulink. In next video, I will be explaining about the same three phase IGBT based inverter with SBPWM, Space Vector Pulse with Modulation Control Technology. Thank you for watching. Thank you.